Hello students, welcome back to computer class. Today we are going to study a second chapter, GUI operating system. You start the computer, the computer doesn't start immediately. It takes some time for the computer to start. And as soon as the computer gets on, you see the first screen on the computer called as Windows. Window is an operating system used for your computer. Windows operating system is the most popular operating system used in today's world. Why do we use Windows and why is it so popular? That's because Windows operating system is user friendly operating system. Windows operating system consists of many versions of Windows. It starts with Windows 95, then came Windows 97, we have Windows 8, we have Windows 10. The operating system is an interface between the user and the hardware. We cannot directly access the hardwares of the computer. The operating system are a set of programs that makes the computer work smoothly. Operating system is user friendly. It is a link between the user and the hardware. Operating system can detect errors present in the computer system. Operating system assigns tasks to the softwares. It also interacts with the hardware and the software. An operating system is user friendly. We can do multimedia. Multimedia like you can play games, watch movies, listen to music. All these things can be done on GUI operating system. We cannot do this on command based operating system. In class 3 we had studied about the desktop in brief. Today we are going to learn little more about desktop. Icons are the small pictures that are visible on your desktop screen. There is one of the icon which is the most important icon of the computer system. This icon is known as a computer. It is also listed as this PC. We can see that icon present here. This PC or this icon of the computer system is generally present on the left side of the desktop. When you double click on this icon with the help of a mouse, it shows the details of the drive present in the system. So these are the details, these are the drives that are present in the system. We have a C drive and a D drive. There are also drives such as F drive or G drive. All these drives are de depends on your system. It tells us the storage capacity of each drive. For example, the, D, the C drive, the storage capacity of this drive is 893 GB. And D drive, the storage capacity is 24.9 GB. We also have a DVD and a CD drive. Control panel. Control panel is the facility center of the computer system from where you can control all other devices that are connected to your computer. It displays the icons of all systems that can be customized. We can customize the desktop by changing the desktop background, by changing the window color and the screen saver. Let us see how to change the desktop background. To change the desktop background, you have to right click anywhere on the desktop. Select personalize. Once you select personalize, they ask you the background whether you want it as a picture or a color or a slideshow. If you want it as a picture, you have to select picture and select the picture from the list. I select this picture in the list and I close it. 
so the desktop background here is changed let us see once again right click personalize let us change to this background and just close it so again the background is changed you can also change the window color to change your window color to right click personalize select solid color and select the color that you wish to change so you see the color has been changed here so the window color is changed now we don't have a picture in our background but we have a color similarly we also have something as a screen saver the screen saver is when your system is idle for some time there is a moving graphic or an object which appears on the screen it disappears when you press any key on the key on the keyboard or just move the mouse so let me show you the screen saver right click click on personalize click on lock screen come right down you have screen saver setting so you you up a small window with a screen saver setting appears click on setting now here the setting is computer instead you can type manovikas and just click on okay and say okay so once your system is idle for some time the screen saver will appear so now what we see on the screen is a screen saver you can see the name of our school that has appeared on the screen so this happens when your computer system is left idle for some time now i just move the mouse and the screen saver disappears go to the files on the desktop all you can do is right click anywhere on the desktop click on new and shortcut the original file is placed in this folder called as computer so i want a file that can create a shortcut on the desktop so for that you have to just browse check for the folder where it is it's here computer so i want a shortcut of an image so i click on the image and i say okay type the location of the item where you want i want it on the desktop and then say next give a name to the file and say finish so once you do that you have a shortcut to the file on the desktop if you no longer need this file on the desktop you can delete it to delete the file you have to click on the file right click on the file and say delete so the file on the desktop disappears now let us look at the taskbar this long horizontal line right at the bottom of the desktop is called as taskbar this taskbar is divided into two parts a quick launch bar and a system tray quick launch bar is towards the left of the task bar this is the quick launch bar and towards the right of the task bar we have a system tray quick launch bar displays files folders application programs and the system tray displays the volume network the battery the date and time of your system date and time on the computer is an inbuilt calendar it's it's to the extreme right hand side of the task bar to change the date and time to right click on the date and time select adjust date time 
the window to change the date and time appears. Right now we have set time automatically. To set manually you have to put this off. Once you off this you can change the date and time manually. To change it click on change button. You get date and time. You can change it accordingly and then click on change option. If you want it, if you want to set it automatically, click on set automatic time. So now it's on. So the time is going to be automatic. And you have and you can then close it. We can also adjust the volume of the speaker. All you have to do is click on the speaker here towards the right of the taskbar you get the volume. And right now it's on 44. To make it louder, to just select, click on it and drag it. So this is how you can adjust the volume from low to high. You can also mute the speaker by just clicking on the speaker icon. Now it's mute. To unmute it, click on it again. Unmute. Thank you.